Mats Madhu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our world, Smart Do. Hello, grateful people, welcome again to today's lesson. In the previous lesson, we looked at sound energy. We said that sound is produced when objects vibrate. When objects vibrate, they produce sound. Or when you hit something, it will produce sound. We looked at very many sources of sound. We say that sound can be produced. We also have some instruments which produce sound. Sound is produced from vehicles. Sound is produced from people when talking. Animals, they produce different sounds. Those are some of the sources of sound. We also looked at the direction of sound. We say that sound travels in all directions. Sound travels in all directions. So today I want us to look at something called the reflection of sound. Can sound be reflected? To reflect is to come back. To reflect is to bounce back. For example, if you draw something towards a wall, a ball towards a wall, it will come back to you. We say that the ball has been reflected. For example, even light, when you, you, you use a torch, you try to shine a, a mirror, maybe a mirror, you'll see that there's the, the light coming back to you. So that is what we call a reflection. And for example, yeah, I know you've ever gone to an empty room, an empty room where there's nothing. The room is just there and it is a, a cemented room, a very big room. Then you start talking or you start clapping in that room. You'll hear sound from the wall coming back to you. You'll hear a the, the sound that is coming back to you from the wall. Or maybe you go between two tall buildings, a very tall building, then you are just there and there is nothing in that on, on, on that between those uh, walls or those tall buildings. So when you start talking or when you shout in that, you will hear another shout coming back from the walls of that tall building or from those uh, buildings. So we say that is what we call the reflection of sound and the, the sound that you hear that is, comes back to you is what we call echo it's what we call echo so what is echo? echo is reflected sound echo is reflected sound one sound has gone uh, for example to the wall let's say for example this is you who is speaking from this side then here we have the wall this is a wall so when you talk, sound will move and then go to the wall. We say that sound moves in things we call waves. Sound will uh, move in things we call waves. It does not move in a straight line. These are what we call waves. So this is you talking. So once the sound hits the wall, it will come back to you. It will come back to you. That is why you will hear a second person talking. You will think you are two, but it is only you. So, once you shout your name, once you shout your name, you, you, you hear another sound from the walls coming to you. So, in which areas can we experience echo? Or can we experience reflection of sound? Reflection of sound is, one, I say, is an, an empty hall. A hall is a big room. A hall is a big uh, room where people perform. So an empty hall, in an empty hall where there are no chairs, no tables, nothing on the wall, it is just a hall, there are no chairs, there are no even wall charts on, the, on, on that hall. So once you go there and you talk, you'll hear another person, uh, another sound coming back to your ears. So we say in an empty hall, you are going to experience the reflection of sound. You are also going to experience a uh, sound in an, uh, between when you are standing between two tall buildings. When you are standing between two tall buildings. So when you are between two tall buildings, you are going to hear a reflection of sound. Another one, another area where we are going to experience a reflection of sound is on a, on a cliff. A cliff is a big rock somewhere. You are just, just between in a cave or a cliff in a, or in a cave somewhere. So when you talk, that big stone will, is going to reflect sound to you. Another area where you are going to experience is in a deep forest. 
when you are in a forest. You are in a forest, uh, you are in a forest, and this you are just alone in that forest, and there are very many trees in that forest. So once you start talking, once you start shouting, you are going to hear your voice, your sound coming back to you. So that will show that in that uh, forest there is an echo. Then lastly, in a valley, when you are in a valley, when you are in a valley, you know that a valley is just uh, somewhere that is under the ground. You are just something that is a depression somewhere. So when you start, you start in this valley, uh, inside the valley, at, at the bottom of the valley, and you start shouting. The, the, the escarpments or the walls of this valley will, are going to reflect sound to you. So that is another case where you are going to experience reflection of sound. So I say that reflected sound is called echo. An echo is going to be experienced in the following places in an empty hall, and this hall should be large, in a large hall, an empty large hall, or even between tall buildings, you are going to experience a echo on a cliff, a cliff I said is a big rock, a very huge stone, a very huge stone, this is what we call a cliff. <coughs> You are standing, and then there is a, a rock here ahead of you. So once you talk, this echo, uh, cliff or this stone is going to reflect sound to you. Also in a deep valley, uh, forest or in a valley. Those are areas where, where you are going to experience reflection of sound. So that's all about reflection of sound. Thank you.